Hi there, I'm Roberta Fernandez, and I'm a board certified hypnotist here at the Fair Hypnosis Center. I'm also a certified hypnosis instructor, so we bring people into the training center and we teach them how to be a hypnotist and certify them. We're one of just two schools that are licensed to do that in the state of Minnesota. So I'm really excited about that and very proud of it. You know, I didn't grow up to be a hypnotist. It found me. And what I mean by that is that I had a friend call me and say, hey, are you watching Oprah's Super Soul Sunday? And I said, no. <laughs> and she said, oh, you gotta watch this guy, he's amazing. So I turned it on and the guy that she was interviewing was really fascinating to me. And I went to his website to check him out after the show was over. And turns out he was doing a retreat in New York State, not far from where my daughter was going to college. And I thought, perfect, I can do a road trip and I can go visit her. So I just went, it was an amazing four days that I spent there and I thought, I want more of this guy. And he only does two trainings a year and his wait list was a mile long. So I thought, hmm, he used hypnosis in his work. I wonder if I became a hypnotist, if I learned how to do that, that I would have a better chance of getting in his class. So I came back to Minnesota and I found someone to train me. And as it turned out, that wasn't the case, <laughs> but I did get in his class and I became a hypnotist. And as I was taking the course, I had tremendous knee pain and I could barely navigate the grocery store. So I told the instructor, being the kind of I need proof person that I am, said, can you get me out of pain? I want you to prove to me that this stuff works. And he said, well, sure, if you want to get out of pain, that can happen. So I made an appointment to see him and voila, I didn't have any more pain uh, after just a couple of uh, sessions. So eventually I knew that I had to have my knees replaced because I was falling down the stairs all the time. And even though I didn't have pain, it had to be done. So when I started practicing and preparing myself for that surgery, I had both knees done at the same time. It's called a full bilateral knee replacement. Uh, I knew that I could manage my pain. And I always like to show this to clients because being able to do this on my own, this is how many pills that did not go in my body because I didn't use any pain meds for my surgery. I just used self-hypnosis. And this, not having these in my body, helped me recover so much faster. Uh, and everybody was amazed. It makes me wonder why this isn't part of standard regimen or protocol when someone's getting ready to do a surgery. This would go such a long way it, in reducing yeah. the the addiction issue and the problem with over prescribing the opioids. Opioids, opioids. yeah. And you know, you're right, Raina, and a couple of years ago I wrote a book on opioids and pain because doctors need another tool. Doctors go through medical school learning to prescribe drugs because that's what they know and that's what they have. Um, hypnosis is not always a substitute for anything. It is a complement to everything. It can take whatever you're doing and help make it more effective. Uh, yes, I didn't have to take any drugs when I had my, uh, my bilateral knee replacement, but that's not going to be the case for everybody. Not everybody would be able to do that. Uh, everyone is going to be different, and it depends on how much they practice beforehand to what extent it's going to be. But you're right, hypnosis before surgery, there is a lot of medical scientific research out there about the effectiveness of just one 15-minute session 20 minutes before surgery. And the results are uh, remarkable. Uh, how, l how much less medication, how much less anesthesia, how much more stable the patient is during the surgery from their heart rate, their blood pressure, all of that. And then their recovery times are shortened. So there is a tremendous amount of scientific research around hypnosis. That was important to me uh, when I started. I'm, I'm kind of a geek about that. You have to prove things to me. Uh, I, I really want that. And not all my clients need that, but some of them do too.